Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Haikyuu Season 2, Episode 1. So we watched the OVA last episode called uh, Lev Arrives, I believe. We met a new character. Yep. And he's actually playing for Nekoma. Uh, he's kind of like that Hinata-like wildcard character. Yeah, exactly. He's mirroring Hinata quite well. Yeah. He's that little bit of X factor that I think Nekoma needs or that the coach thinks Nekoma needs as well. And Karasuno and... Nakoma, they're going to end up meeting in the spring tournament at some point. Uh, also, if you guys haven't checked out that reaction, we also put together like a fantasy team, like our <laughs> our dream team of yes. current characters uh, in this series from all the teams. We kind of made our own best of team, yeah. if you will. We should do that at the end of every season. Yeah, we could definitely do that. So make sure you guys check that out. But season two starting today. I'm very excited. I know you You were saying you wanted a little bit of training. Me, I'm desperate to get into the games <laughs> so bad. Just because that hype that I felt during a tournament was next level. Like, it was so good. I was oh, very 100%. excited. It's only going to get, like, more and more hype as well. Yeah, uh, but I think you're right. I think, they, you know, they're going to start training for the spring tournament. And then they're also going to start to set up little payoffs. And I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to be. Because there already are some that haven't paid off yet. You know, we got... Yamaguchi served that still hasn't paid off entirely. Yeah, and like Tsuki as a whole. <laughs> yeah, that kind of started a little bit. A little bit, yes, it started. But yeah, there are a couple of things um, that we're looking forward to for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. We probably actually might even get some brand new characters this season as well. Yeah, that would be cool to see. Mm. But also, if you guys are interested in getting early access to these episodes, I'll leave a link to our Patreon down below. Also, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. He's having a oh, nightmare. Oh, he's having flashbacks. He's having a nightmare. Yeah, he is. I'm sure. Sickening. That was up there. That could be like... But like, why did I start the new season like that? One of the worst days of my life. That wasn't a serious comment. <laughs> I'm just saying. That was rough. It was. Mm, these two are, these two are going to be like second to Goku and Vegeta for me in terms of like rival oh, characters. Wow, that's massive. We all know who is who. Mm. Like the Goku and the Vegeta. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Come on. These two are great Aww. as well. Yeah, cutie pies. Ah! Wow. <laughs> when they said left off, that's it for me. Did Asahi have a grey? I think he did have a grey. A grey streak there. Nothing to see. Oh, no, it's his headband. Don't worry. Oh! They still oh kept it in! Oh, my gosh! Kochu Kai loves some it. Great play. Go to he. Nice. The faint. Noya? No. I don't think yeah, Noya's it? even on that no, side. No, he's on the other side. <laughs> oh, Noya, that was crazy. Wow. Work. He like cartwheeled over there. That was a massive point. They've got power. <laughs> oh, he's got his own I animation love that. now. <laughs> oh, I loved that. Oh, Daichi, that's epic. Oh, 
wow. I just got chills there. That animation was sick. Yeah, and you didn't want the training to be a thing. Angelo said he wants to get straight into the matches. Blah, blah, blah. Appreciate the ride. I guess that makes sense with the title name. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he loves a revenge tour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's getting spoken oh, no. about. It's fine. It's just an anime trope. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> they use this trope a lot. Yeah, it's great. Him too now. Got him hyped up. Yeah. Oh, she's okay with it. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's she's go. Got, she's got a pep in her step. <laughs> she's very invested in the team's success now, which I really like. Yeah. You see that? I thought she'd be scared of Noya and um, <laughs> Tanaka at this point. <laughs> no. Just hear Tanaka screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Milk bread. <laughs> it's perfect for the media. It oh, really yeah. I just heard so much Genya there. <laughs> Don't rip the fork. <laughs> I love it. Hinata and Tanaka, like their little oh, so relationship is so funny. Ushiwaka. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's that's a lot. It's going to make it more satisfying when they actually do beat these players. Well, they're going to beat the guy in, like, the national team. What happened? It's Nishinoya and Tanaka, what? Yeah, but why is Takeda... Takeda is why does he look so stressed? Did they fail? Oh, is he just stressed about the match? Did seeing their names remind him? Oh dear! He's dead. I'd be dead if I saw her too. <laughs> Come on, Tanaka! Come on! He's just running, Angelo. It's the standard training procedure. No, he's racing. <laughs> Watch these two. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to they're going to run in front of everyone. <laughs> what about Noya? He's got no one to run with. He's going to run with Daichi. Oh shit. <laughs> Look, they see they're passing him. <laughs> Tanaka won. You got a head start, but don't worry about it. <laughs> You're going to jump off the, the cliff. Oh my god. Oh, they're just going to keep running. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be stopping that force. My gosh. I think Kagiyama's slightly in front. <laughs> the eye contact is killing me. <laughs> Where are they? They're in a different country by this point. All of a sudden, it's sunset. <laughs> 
Shiratorizawa. Shiratorizawa. Forget it. Shiratorizawa. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, oh it's the dude. Olympian. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> they were nervous to say you. Uh, that was just what came to mind. Yeah. Because they were reading the paper, I guess. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the 45 year old. Oh! He's heard of them! That's good. I hope this is not going to be like a truck kun moment, Angelo. No, no, no. Okay. They can adapt in game to anything, I'd imagine. He's heading back to school to teach, obviously. That is cool. Yeah, it's like a university. What? Horses! <laughs> Even Kagiyama was jumping around. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. Right. Other schools aren't challenging enough for them. <laughs> Cursed you, Japan. Cursed <laughs> him, Japan. Heard of him? Mm. Oh shit. I just got uh, that was from junior high. Don't hold him to that. Mm. Oh, yes, we saw that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. It wasn't always like that, but yeah, we saw that at the end of that yeah. last match. Wow. This guy is. He's a farmer. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'm sorry, but isn't that what I said, basically, and I got freaking like, crucified for it? You didn't say that. I said he was the reason that they won. Are we concrete or so? <laughs> You're not just killing me oh, this episode. No. Just you wait. Yeah. Japan. Oh, come on now. Oh! Yes! Show him! Ha <laughs> ha! Sucked in, mate! That was epic. <laughs> oh, he's proud of him! Yes! From the concrete! <laughs> come on! <laughs> there you go, Japan. You take that ball. He likes his spirit. He's uh, got this, to. This show has top end trash talk. Top oh, end. Yeah. Oh, look at that. The Let's crow go. And the seagull. What is that bird? The That's an eagle. eagle. That's a falcon. The crow and the falcon. It is oh, an eagle. Oh, wow. It was an eagle, yeah. Oh, that was so sick, man. Yeah. Yep. I believe it. Same. It's gonna happen. Yeah, don't worry. Just wait until they find out about his actual age. Then he'll be disqualified. <laughs> He's the same age as Asahi. <laughs> That's right. It's got that villain look. Yep. Ooh. 
Yeah, Hinata's got... He's tough he's got now. That fire. Yeah, yeah. He's got some fire about him. Mm. Oh, it's a lot to juggle. Wait. The third years can't go? Oh. oh shit. They're gonna have to pass. Oh, oh. Oh! <laughs> Someone's gonna fail! I think, no! I think that's what they were getting at with that whole Tanaka and oh, Noya. Oh, no! Turns out I don't actually need the games, the official matches. Um, yeah. I mean, I did it in the first place. I just wanted to see the official matches, but... You have to put your faith in the show. Yeah, I, I like all the episodes. There hasn't been an episode that I've disliked. Literally not one from memory. That had some moments. It wasn't a match, but that had some moments. Didn't um, need to be a match to have moments. Yeah, that's right. We started off the episode with like a little bit of a practice match or training match. Yep, training with the boys. Yeah, and we got to see all the characters kind of do their thing, have their moment. I think every single one of them did, actually. But the main difference I noticed was there's something different about Hinata. Yeah, and I'm so happy about it. There's no need for him to be like super stressed out about versing hard games or even talking to like really good players no need for that no but you got to grow out of that that's not something you can just like switch up right yeah what i noticed about that little um practice was everyone got their moment but they were all blown away by hinata which was cool they all kind of they were startled for a yeah. second even though they played with him you know they were startled so he's starting to fulfill that potential that he's got right that athletic potential which is really cool um, and they're going to do something with him and Lev, um, mm -hmm. you'd imagine. Then there were some absolutely hilarious moments as well, as usual, because uh, it is a feel-good show. Uh, I was actually expecting another character to get introduced when Coach Ukai was talking about the lack of experience in the team. But maybe that's not happening. I think what he meant from that was... They need to practice against other teams more. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Not necessarily incorporate a new player, but... Play new teams, yeah. learn new things. Because mm -hmm. we all know they're like sponges, those guys. They just learn wherever they go. Yeah. And that race that they had, all the, the running drills that they had up Heartbreak Hill or whatever it was called. Um, I, I do kind of like it how Kagiyama and Hinata, they broke off from the group. Um, they kind of seamlessly put that in and then they ended up kind of shadowing this other dude, Japan. Japan. What's his actual name? We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it soon because he's going to be like a main character this season. He... He already kind of got set up in the last season with the whole Oikawa thing. Yeah. A little bit. But he's from the team Akira Toriyama. <laughs> Shira Torizawa. <laughs> I think you had you had the right syllab you had the right syllables. Um yeah, Shira Torizawa. Okay. They're legit. They're gonna be good to watch. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching them this season for sure. Mm. What he said about Seijo? Yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it? He said it like I thought he was giving Oikawa respect and then he called them all weak. Yeah, well, he said Oikawa was the only good player in the team. Yeah, yeah. And he brings the best out of... Well, it's true. Oikawa does kind of make them a lot better because he's such a good setter, but that's a disrespectful thing to say because we saw some of those players and they were good. Yeah. But they're probably nowhere near the level of Shira Torozawa. I've got that down now, by the way. I've got that down. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn these names. Akira Torizawa. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got some things to look forward to here. So it looks like this season's going to use the same formula as season one. We're going to get the practice matches first. Mm, yeah. Then, then we're going to end the season with the actual tournament. Yeah, you're going to build up slowly and um. Yeah. Yeah, and on that really high note with all the tournaments and competitive. Yeah, spirits and that's stuff. fine. Yeah. That's a winning formula. A hundred percent. If it ain't broke. <laughs> yeah. Don't fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then also we had Shimizu or Foxy, right? Foxy Senpai. And she was... Scouting? Yeah. She's very invested. I love to see it. Yeah. I love to see it too. She loves the team. Yeah, she does. And she wants to get more people involved that don't have a club or something in the yeah. first years. Was that what she was doing? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think that's what yeah, she, she was She was asking doing. Hinata if he knows anyone who's not part of a group yet. Yeah. Or a club. Yeah. Now... There is one thing I want, and I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't. In fact, I don't think it, it will, but I was just thinking how epic it would be. When I saw Tanaka yelling at the newspaper <laughs> with Noya, mm. it just made me think, like, Oikawa singled out Tanaka in that match, 
and kept almost picking on him and using him as the weak link. Aww. I want Tanaka to smash that ball down his throat right in front of him. I want him to get his revenge on Oikawa. No, I want it to happen. I, I don't mind Oikawa, but I'm just saying. Angela. No, it was disrespectful. And Tanaka, like, really, he came out of that well, which I liked. That's I loved good. that. That's good. That episode 20. There are a couple of moments that I want. I want some payoffs for all the characters in this season. I'm thinking the match, whenever we see Shira Torazawa play, it's going to be different breed. Like, it's going to be crazy. Mm, oh, 100%. I think seeing him and Oikawa play together, mm. we're going to see, like, a different side of Oikawa. Yeah, yeah Oikawa is going to be challenged greatly. They skimmed over that match. We didn't get to see it, which No, sucked. we didn't. They, I think they were saving yeah, it. Yeah, 100% for season two. Mm-hmm. Um. We'll get to the end of the episode and the MVP in a sec. I just wanted to mention that. Am I actually wrong in saying that Nekoma aren't going to be at the spring tournament? I thought they were going to, but now it looks like they're going to verse them in a practice match again like they did in season one. Can they not verse another school in a different prefecture? Is, is that a forbidden thing? I don't know. Someone explain just that those basic sort of things to me because... I don't know which teams can face who. Mm. Um, and I don't know in which tournaments they can face certain yeah. teams as well. I just want to know where all the teams are going to be at and who we're going to be following, that sort of thing. Uh, but at the end of the episode, I got hyped up because Hinata, like that part with the music and he jumped in front of yes. that guy. Yes. Oh, shit. That was so great, wasn't it? And then Kageyama smiled. I was ready. I was ready to oh, throw shit again. when Kageyama smiled. Yes. That was a good moment for me. My viewing experience <laughs> was greatly uplifted by that. <laughs> yeah, it was. Because I think Kageyama is somewhat rubbing off on Hinata in certain ways. And Hinata's not taking shit from people anymore. No. He doesn't need to be called a shrimp and all that shit. He's going to stand up for himself. And I love that. Yes. I like that. Um, I think both characters are actually rubbing off on each other in certain ways too. Yeah. You see Kageyama jumping around like a crazy psycho every now and then you too. Do. It's you know? really cute. Yeah, I, I love their that pairing is so great. Like I was saying during the episode, you know, Vegeta and Goku, mm-hmm. you know, I love that sort of vibe. And I, I get that sort of really rewarding experience with these two characters for sure. More than I think I've gotten in other anime that I've seen. In terms nice. of like rival characters, you don't actually see rival characters that much. I'm just, I'm just thinking you don't. There's yeah. usually like a trio. Yeah, or if there are rival characters, it's not like the main relationship that yeah. the show focuses on. yeah. I really like that. Mm. It's my preferred viewing experience. I don't know. I feel like it's more rewarding following two characters rather than one. Mm. And then you kind of sprinkle the other characters around. Yeah. I feel like these two are definitely the main characters. Yes. You know, Hinata's got a little bit more main character energy about him. But Kageyama, it's his story too, for Mm -hmm. sure. And then all the other side characters, they all get payoffs as well. So that's a winning formula as well. MVP. MVP. What are your first thoughts? I think I I know who My I first thought is Hinata. Yeah, I think I'm with you on that one, to be honest. I'm just trying to reflect back. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't it think be. it needs to be thought about too much. I just Hinata had a couple of moments. Um he stood up for himself, which I liked. Mm-hmm. That was the main thing. Yeah. I like that. This guy, I still don't know his name yet. It's quite long, I think, wasn't it? No, yeah. maybe not. Uh, we'll call him Japan for now. Japan. Um, oh, well, actually, Hinata also made me piss myself laughing this episode because he said a couple of really funny things. <laughs> yeah, he did. The concrete thing, the concrete moment. That was amazing. That was incredible. Yeah. I don't know how they made that sound epic, but they did. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, him just standing up to a player like that because usually you'd mm-hmm. see him kind of crumble yeah. in an environment like he'd that. He'd be vomiting. He'd be sweating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. So I think we'll give the MVP to Hinata for sure. Yeah. Uh, just lastly, before we wrap up the video, I, I said it a couple of times in the episode, a duo that I'm really invested in in this show is Hinata and Tanaka because I think it's adorable. I do. They're yeah. like your little sons. That's his senpai there. That's Hinata's senpai. Aww. Tanaka really has helped him in his development. That's so cute. I think it's really cute. I, I really like that. That that would be like the duo. You know how you see like different characters, like different pairings in the show? Yeah, yeah. You get a lot of like Sugar and Daichi, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Noya and Asahi. You get a lot of those different pairings. That's my favorite. Yeah. Tanaka and Aww. Hinata. Yeah, I like it. I like it because I feel like Tanaka, as well as Kageyama, has really toughened up Hinata mm. and made him feel welcome yeah, in the he squad. Yeah, it. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.